Welcome to Whiteboard Friday, and this week, a marvellous, juicy, conspiracy theory topic. The release of a book called At War With Nature. Ooh, and it's about how the whole 1080 plot is killing New Zealand's native wildlife, and it's all, it's all a, a plot by these four groups to boost their status and funding. So what we're going to do is take a, a look at how real these claims are. Do these organisations really make up the whole 1080 and pest problem in order to feather their own nest? Well, let's have a look. First up, there's Doc. They lost 80 jobs in 2013, so not doing too well at feathering their own nest there. Besides, we know that if they really wanted to feather over their own nest, they wouldn't advocate the use of things like 1080. They would use things like trapping. They'd have lots of people out in the field setting traps. Now we know that that's not as cost effective, but it would be good for Doc. So, doesn't look like that's a plausible conspiracy theory. What about the charity sector, those uh, greedy, money-hungry, uh, tin-shaking charities like, uh, like Forest and Bird. Well, let's have a look at the actual funding that environmental charities get compared to others. Actually, environmental charities make up about 3% of our donations. So they're hardly scaring us into giving millions over in order to support predator eradication. What about those nasty scientists? Are they cooking up some sort of conspiracy? Well, anyone who says that clearly hasn't heard of the scientific method. Scientists are paid to rip shreds off each other. They're really mean. They tear each other, what each other says, to shreds to try and find any any points of, of weakness in the opponent's argument. If you actually get a group of scientists to agree on something, it's pretty amazing. So I doubt that scientists are running this conspiracy. And what about the industry? Of course, someone must be making money out of all of this poison, right? Yes, someone is making money. And that's actually a state-owned enterprise. What? Yes, the government is creaming money from this horrible poison idea. So let me get this straight. What you're saying, conspiracy theorists, is that the government spends, or the government and various organisations, regional councils and Osprey, that's funded by farmers, they spend about $100 million a year on predator control, things like 1080 drops. And what we see in the Crown accounts is that the the government business that supplies the poison, uh, animal control products, makes a profit of about $1.3 million a year. So you're saying that we're spending $100 million to make $1.3 million. That is the worst Ponzi scheme I have ever heard of. Why not just not spend the $100 million and go to the Bahamas? Maybe buy an island, stay there for the rest of your life. In short, I don't think industry or government state-owned enterprises are cooking up some sort of conspiracy here. It's just not plausible. No one would be benefiting from that deal. Oh, except for maybe our native flora and fauna, who of course benefit from the suppression of pests and predators so that they can breed and grow up and have good lives. And of course we benefit too because we have more birds and lizards and all the wonderful things around us that make us part of who we are, part of that New Zealand fabric. Perhaps we're benefiting from this Ponzi scheme. 